Hello and welcome to my channel. I designed these frame in uh, Fusion 360 and they have kind of a little edge here for a piece of plastic for a um, cover for this um, butterfly frames that we are going to do today. I printed them out on my Flashforce Creator 3 Pro and now I am cutting out a piece of white um, thicker uh, cardboard thingy and I'm making sure it is smaller than the frame so I can glue it on the back side of the frame and you won't see it when it is um, hanging on a wall or something like that but then I will have the white background in my frame. I am using my tacky glue that I put into this little squirt bottle because it is um, much easier to destroy drip you ate the glue uh, with this little metal tip and then I'm just taking my piece of cardboard here and placing that on top of the frame and making sure everything is nice and neat. I found a lot of pictures of butterflies online on Google just search butterflies and I um, took them into my uh, drawing program and rescaled them into really 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 tiny and as I do have a silhouette cameo, I um, took the file that I made from all these butterflies and placed into that program and made that cut all the butterflies out for me. But you can cut them in hand. I am coloring the edge of each of my butterflies and here I'm using one of these um, uh, alcohol marker because the other one I used was not that uh, good for this one and I'm trying to use an alcohol marker that fits the color of the butterfly itself and I'm taking my time and doing this on all butterflies. After coloring all the butterflies on the sides here I decided for where to put these butterflies as I have four frames. I am going to make two of them alike so they're kind of in pairs two and two because I didn't have four of each of these butterflies so I'm just deciding where to put these butterflies so that I don't have two equal in each frame. I am using my tweezers here. I place that on the middle of the butterfly and then I bend the wings up and uh, this gives the butterflies a little more life when you place them in the frame. Then I have this makeup brush that I am using for whiskers when I am making cats. Uh, and I am just going to cut a few of these off and then I am going to make these, um, I don't know, antlers for the butterflies. Is that the right word? Uh, so I'm cutting them very, very tiny um, to use as antlers. Then I decide where I want my butterfly. And I am placing a tiny, tiny bit of uh, tacky glue right there. I am going to take these small antlers here uh, and placing that into the glue so it looks uh, neat, neat uh, before I place the butterfly on top of the glue with the antlers. This way it looks uh, more real and realistic when it's all done. And I'm going to do this with all six butterflies. And now for the glass, you can use a piece of plastic from some packaging. Here it is a hot laminated 
uh, bag or what you call that a hot laminated thing uh, that I hot laminated without anything in there and that works just as fine and I'm making sure I know what the size is for this little glass frame and I'm cutting a glass frame for each of these small pictures before I glue it in. Then I am using a tiny tiny bit of my tack glue on this little um, edge that I made for the plastic to go and I'm just gonna do it on all four sides before I take the little uh, plastic piece and place it on top. And then I'm just placing the plastic, making sure it is sitting really nice into the glue and letting it dry like that. And then this little project is all done. I had a lot of fun with this one and I hope you will as well.